Hi. Here we are at opening night. Hello. I've just been upstaged. Hi. <laughs> Scene. Oh. Cut. <laughs> these are these are gifts for you guys. Steve, this is for you. Jim, these are for you. Jim, there's also apparently this is the message. There's something for after the show. Everything was possible. It's the story of follies. I don't oh. Know. Oh, fantastic. That's Ted Chapin's book. Ted Chapin's book. And I guess Kurt's in this probably, huh? Probably. Oh, excellent. Break a leg. Happy opening night, everyone. Oh, yes. He's the fat guy in the producer. <laughs> overcome. That was astonishing. You always think opening night in New York you want to have something like that, but it was wonderful. It was wonderful. They were with you the whole way. Oh. Every moment. Uh. I've never been so honored in my life. <laughs> just, just quelling. You know what Cavelli? Yeah, I do. Okay. I do. That that was me. <laughs> that glow, that yeah, filling up. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and I didn't have to do a thing. <laughs> Just sat there. Well, here I come, coming out. <laughs> it's so dramatic. You're turning into Mary and Selby's. Ah, I adore you. I adore you. I adore you all. <laughs> You're all wonderful. Now let's go to Sardi's for a party. <laughs> they seem wonderful. to like it. Yes, I think so. <laughs> Here we go. Hello. How are you? Hi, how are you? You're going to have a great opening night in New York, and it's everything you ever thought it would be. I was going to Sardi's. I mean, it's just amazing. Just amazing. <sighs> Thank you. God. Thank you. Ah, There's the St. Right. James. No, no, no. Sardi's. Sardi's right there. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah. 
today at a wonderful actors brunch where everybody performed and I was raving about Jim Brochu in this play and when I, by the way, I emailed Bob Ullman and he wrote back, I said, go see this. He said, I saw it on Wednesday, he's brilliant and he is zero to a T. How's that? And that's where one of the great icon people. But I gotta say, and I was really like, oh. But I have to say, I so love that we have. Oh, there it is! I, I, I so love that we have so many of those films and, and videos and photographs because they are so special. So yeah. even though I was kind of freaked out when it started, I ended up enjoying it. And now it's the norm. Because I was the first person to blog a show. Now on Broadway, it's the norm. Yeah. Figure. I walk in and these poor guys, they don't, I don't know what I'm doing because I've never done a show before. Right. So as far as I'm concerned, I'm going to take photos and video and everything that I can. You know? Equity was very well, pleased with him. <laughs> they love him. him. Yeah. They work yeah. together. Did you hear this story? Guys and Charles. Yeah. 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 I want to hear the story. 21 years ago, she was a six. <laughs> she was the youngest <laughs> chorus girl <laughs> in captivity. Exactly. But she still had legs. I'm doing the striptease. I'm the oldest chorus. <laughs> <laughs> girl is That's right. Keep thinking younger, son. <laughs> so you were doing what? You need to influence me. But we are. <laughs> we'll always be dear companions. <laughs> my crony. My mates. <laughs> we'll always be. Uh, you are my expected you to the harmony often Annie and I Sandy. I don't do harmonies. <laughs> <laughs> You're better at it than I am, honey. All right, let's cut. Is that again? About Jim? I was, I've never, I don't think I've ever seen Jim in a suit. Well, he looks so, so good. He looks tremendous. Oh, my God. A disturbingly handsome fellow. I saw Jim naked right before we <laughs> Naked. Naked. And did you laugh like, like Zero's first wife? <laughs> so cute. You keep your eyes and hands off my husband. Yes, sir. One credit in your biography tonight that really stood out to me because I saw it originally and never forgot it was Days of Wine and Roses with Cliff Robinson, right? Oh, yeah, that was phenomenal. Cliff Robinson, right? Yes, yes. Yeah, because I was in high school and I don't know, lit class or some English or something came up. And I said, oh, I saw this production of the Days of Wine and Roses on television. It was so good. I was like, I don't know, 15 or something, but I'll never forget that. It was quite devastating. It was yeah. live, wasn't it? Yes, but live. Yeah. Yeah. Playhouse 90. Yeah. Oh, yeah, exactly. yeah, yeah. That was even... It was incredible, and I never forgot that. Days of Wine and Roses. He lives it. <laughs> Jim? Yes, sir. <laughs> from, from Ed and myself. This is a, a book we, we've been having the, your guests sign it since they first began coming to the theater. Oh, no, really? Many years ago. No, no earlier this evening. And so it's embossed. Or no, it's engraved. It's not embossed. Sure, yeah. Zero hours. November 22nd. November? N O R B M. November? It says November 22nd, 2000. I just wanted you to put your glasses on. <laughs> <laughs> There you are. I know where you go there with the poop poop out here. here. You know what's funny? They have people came in I do my best. Months ago, and they I said, "Where's Jim Brochu's caricature?" That's and totally you. Whoever was here said, "Oh, he's over there," but he doesn't look like that anymore. No. <laughs> <laughs> I know, isn't that mean? <laughs> it's so mean. You're a New York baby. <laughs> Toughen up. <laughs> but I'm there, and that's the greatest honor I've ever had in my life. Oh, I would think so. Oh, hair is coming out. Well, like a baby. Yes. All right. Let's go to Joanne.